Hello everyone, welcome on this beautiful Monday morning. As you can tell, this is pre-recorded. Uh, unfortunately, I had a lot to do today, so I wanted to be able to do a video for you guys in advance to where that way you're not left hanging, waiting on me. I want to be able to bring you a video today. And those of you who are watching this also on YouTube, LinkedIn, Zabbit, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you're watching this on, whatever platform of social media, hey, welcome as well. Uh, normally, once again, I do a live, but today I want to do something uh, recorded because I've got a lot going on today, which is all good news. But I wanted to present something to you guys today that actually a lot of people have been asking me about. And that is, how do you start your day, Jeremy? Let me say something uh, to you guys that might help you. When it deals with planning your day out or basically waking up thinking, what does Jeremy do? What does what does people do? What, what do ministers do when they wake up? Well, I can't tell you what everybody else does, so I can tell you what I do. You know, as you know, I'm a big believer in attracting things into your life, um, drawing by the from the thoughts of you, your renewed mind, uh, knowing that thoughts become things, manifesting the very hearts of your desires, on and on and on. All these are biblical principles, right? So let me say this to you. What I usually do in my morning time is I usually get up and I bring affirmations and uh, and declarations. Yes, I begin to bring a lot for, uh, forth a lot of prayer, but I also awaken with an attitude of gratitude, an attitude for the that day of great gratitude of knowing every step is a miracle, knowing every breath is a miracle. I bring forth a presentation of my gratitude for everything that will come to me that day uh, along the path of that, of that journey. That means the good, the bad, the ugly. I thank God for it all because whatever it is that God wants to present to me in that day, that means my footsteps are ordered by Him. That means things that are, that are approaching me, presenting itself to me throughout the day, a trial, a tribulation, a good news, a promotion. Let's say uh, in your case, maybe uh, you know you found the woman of your dreams, you found the guy of your dreams, you found the job of your dreams, you found a new home, you found a new, you know, got a new car. Or maybe you just had a great day with your children playing uh, outside when you took them to the park. Or maybe you thought, you know what, I just, it's just been a beautiful day. I've been, I've been greeted by a lot of good people. Or maybe, just maybe, you might find yourself at a place where throughout your day, maybe an angry woman stops your way and, and maybe says something negative to you. Maybe someone approaches you, let's say, uh, that's in a bad mood. Maybe they, they were a bad server at the restaurant you went to on, at lunch. Let me say this to you. The Bible says that in this life there'll be trials and tribulations, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. And what that means, and it means a lot of different things, but one of the things that I look at in that scripture that speaks to me loud and clear is knowing that I can be of good cheer. So if someone comes to me in a bad mood throughout the day, if I, let's say, um, my 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 I get a fender bender on my car, or... Um, you know, maybe I didn't get the promotion I was looking for. Maybe I was waiting for my friend to come in town to see me and they didn't come in town. Or maybe my child is sort of not happy. L let me tell you something. Trials and tribulations do not mean they go on all day long, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It means throughout your day, you're going to have a couple of bad things, right? But through those technical bad things, you've got to begin to look at that and realize that, you know what? Ultimately, I'm still having a great day. Never say to yourself, man, I had a bad day today. My week was horrible. Don't ever do that. Because the truth is, your week wasn't horrible. You didn't have a, a bad day. You had a couple of bad moments injected into a fairly good day. Because if you really were to analyze your day, you'd find where, you know what? You probably drank a good cup of coffee. You probably went to lunch with a good friend of yours. You probably had a great day at work. Until that moment, the copier broke down, or until that moment you had a bad client that wanted to cuss you out, or maybe because dinner got burned when you were cooking it. You got to begin to remember: don't, don't, don't be um, that person who, you know, if one thing happens, it just makes a domino effect of everything else going wrong or bad in your life. Look at your day to say, you know what? Basically, my day was great. I gave great gratitude. I prayed this morning, and the moment I went through a trial or tribulation of some of the things that Jeremy mentioned earlier. The moment I did, I walked. I walked myself through it. I began to find a, a, a notion of, of an answer, or uh, you know, a, a problem that presented me through this person. You know what? I was able to find a truth for them, or maybe this person gave me a fender bender. No big deal. You know what? I was able to walk through it, get their insurance information. I gave them my insurance information, and I went on to go to work. 
So you have to begin to think about that the best thing for you to do during a trial and tribulation is not go to pieces. Don't get drama on yourself and say, oh my God, the devil's out to kill me today. He's out to destroy me. Oh, what am I going to do? You know, no one likes a drama queen, to be very honest with you. No one likes a bunch of hyped up people because they feel they couldn't handle one trial or tribulation. Just look at it and say, hey, you know what? It happened. It happened. My feet steps were ordered by God. Something began to happen today. No big deal. I'm going to walk through it like David walked to the valley of the shadow of death. I'm going to just walk right through it and turn my turn my my cheering on, my joy on, and begin to walk through it and begin to realize that it's about to turn over for me and the rest of my day is going to go good. That's what Jeremy does. Jeremy recognizes the end of this life as trials and tribulations. And trials and tribulations do not always say demons and devils and hell and, and Satan, right? It doesn't. A trial and tribulation is just that. In this life... In this life, there are trials and tribulations. It never says the devil's going to open up hell and throw a fireball at you. And you're going to, you know, I mean, come on, folks. You know, in this life, there are equalities of trials and tribulations with equalities of joy and, and being cheerful. And so when you when you see something coming your way, walk yourself through it. No big deal. And then, and then uh, get yourself back to the place of joy. In fact, walk through the trial and tribulation. Walk through it with a cheerful attitude. Why? because God has already overcome it, which means if God's already overcome it, you've already overcome it if you accept to receive the overcoming power. How do we re accept it to receive it? We walk through it diligently and we watch the wisdom of God say, hey, I got a solution for this trial. Hey, I got an answer for this situation. What if I learn through it and begin to realize I'm going to walk with my, he my head held high with some cheer and some joy? No big problem. Because the moment this trial and tribulation is over, I can shift myself back into joy, but yet I'm still going to walk to the trial and being, being of good cheer. That's what you do. And that way, at the end of the day, if your wife or your husband says, hey, honey, how was your day? Well, you know, it was actually pretty good. I had a little, had a little fender bender, but, you know, hey, the rest of my day went pretty good. Hey, had a client that maybe chewed my rear end out. But you know what? I got, I got, took care of it. I was able to, to give a soft answer that turns away wrath, and the rest of my day went great. See, that's what a renewed mind says. An unrenewed mind says, my day went horrible. I found myself binding the devil all day long. Well, why did you waste your time doing that? Hello, why did you waste your time doing that? Because, because the day, this day is the day that God has given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. And know that in this day, even when you think positive, even when you speak a plan and a vision into your day, which you always should, that plan and vision is going to carry out. However, in the midst of your plan and, and vision, you're going to have a trial and tribulation every, one, every once in a while dropped in there. And when it's dropped in there, what are you going to do with it? You're going to fall to pieces. You're going to start binding Satan all day long, hide under a rock, oh, I'm under major warfare, oh, my gosh, had a fender bender. The devil wants to kill me today. Or, you know, because really that's a bunch of drama. And if you want to go that route and, and affect your, your day, you go for it. But the rest of us choose to transcend past that and say, it's a small little trial and tribulation. No big deal. My footsteps are ordered order by God. I've got this. I've got this because i got them renewed mind. I can walk myself right through this tribulation and this trial. No biggie. And flip myself back into joy. That's what people with a renewed mind does. Amen? So I wanted to sort of leave this with you guys today on this beautiful Monday morning. Uh, just to really to, to leave you with food for thought. Since I couldn't be with you live, which don't forget, I will be with you next Monday live here at 10 a.m. Central Time on all these platforms of, of Instagram and Facebook. So so get your friends, gather your friends to join with me. There is no telling what's going to happen next Monday. So I'm excited. You get excited. Share this with your friends. Uh, like it. Comment on it. Let me know. I'm going to go back and read the comments from this video and find out if you, know, if you guys like it or not. So have a blessed, wonderful day, and I'll talk to every one of you soon. Have a great week.